everyone, it's Sasha, aka Your Frugal Friend, and I am super pumped today to talk to you about E-Rank's new Sidekick feature. So what is this? This is a browser extension tool that you can use with Etsy. A lot like Everbee's tool, E-Rank actually had an extension tool that others were using, but I could never get it to work on my PC. Maybe it was for Mac. But I used it on my PC on Chrome. I tried and it never worked. But this works great and I'm really excited to demo this tool for you today. So here you can see that this is the landing page for the tool. And this is where you would download it. So you would click here. I already have it on my um, browser. You would download it here. I'll put the links under this video so that you can get this tool for your E-Rank account. And it has lots of key features, which is you can see the current trends, which is something they have on the dashboard of the the actual E-Rank tool. And just so you know, I have E-Rank Basic, which is the $5.99 a month plan, and it works with Basic perfectly. So it, you can see the current trends. I'll show you that. You can deep dive into listings. I will show you that. You can view detailed shop data. Um, they do have a very, very user-friendly interface and they have lots of good data. I like it. It saves time. It increases sales. I love E-Rank because the data on E-Rank is really good. That's why I've always really enjoyed E-Rank. And uh, I'm going to be showing you this tool, how it works and how it compares to Everbee's data because I know that they both use different calculations for different parts of the browser extension tool. And I don't know what those <laughs> algorithms or calculations or what they do. I'm a math person. I'm an accountant by trade. So I'm a math person. I've tried to back into how they did the formula to get the data. For Everbee's tool, when I first tested it, it's like they took the entire history of the sales data for the life of a listing. And then they'll like divide it by the number of months since the listing was live. And that's how they give you the monthly sales data. I don't know if they've tweaked that since I first tested it when they first rolled it out. But I really like E-Rank's data um, because I feel like they have really good clean data. I also like how they use Google in their data and stuff like that. Everbee doesn't use and Insight Factory do not use any of Google's data in giving you um, ideas for keywords. Okay, so once you download the tool, then you will be, you can go here and you can learn how to um, install the, the feature, the extension, browser extension onto your device, what it looks like, some tips for use. And I will put that link for you there too. If it doesn't auto come up for you, it should. It automatically came up for me, but I'm going to drop both those links for you. Okay. So what does this tool look like? So when you first toggle it on, this is when you go to Etsy's uh, landing page. This is the first uh, page of search that you go to when you type in Etsy.com. This is what it looks like on the side, which I really like that they have this when you pop, when you go to the first um, page of Etsy because it's showing you what people are looking for like right now, which is extremely, extremely useful data because you can see that Valentine gift is really popular. And Etsy is a huge, super popular place to go for gifts, handmade gifts, unique gifts, stuff like that. So it lets you know that the word gift is popular. So jewelry, bracelet, that's all gifts, earrings, decor, wall art, decor. So those are other niches or types of products that people go to. Um, shirts, people go there for different shirts. Personalized, so they like customized, personalized stuff. Uh, Valentine's printable, which is great. I'm in the digital product space. So knowing that people were typing in Valentine printable is extremely, <laughs> re it's refreshing because as a digital products creator selling on Etsy, you feel like we're kind of an afterthought at times when Etsy is rolling out new ideas. I did a video on gift mode that you can see here moving around and you do not get any digital products results from going through the gift the gift mode AI feature on um, Etsy as of when I tested the tool, you could not. I tested it extensively to try to back into some kind of uh, printable or digital product spreadsheet, any kind of search result that was a digital product. And you can watch that video on my channel if you want to learn more about it. But it's just rewarding and refreshing to know that people are actually knowing and getting more familiar with the fact that you can buy digital products on Etsy. So when you see Valentine printable up there, you start to go, okay, well, what's the next holiday coming up? We have Easter, we have St. Patrick's Day, stuff like that. So then I would go, okay, maybe I can start to rank for 
Easter printable and just put that as a keyword because people are actually coming to Etsy to look for that. So it gives you lots of other keywords. People are already starting to look for Easter. So I love that they have that data there. So then I clicked on this listing here, this Bible Stories Bingo that I've been looking at bingo products. And so they're recommending them to me. And so this is how you would deep dive onto a listing. So here is what the sidekick data looks like. It gives you the stats first. So they give you estimated sales. And I don't know how they come up with this calculation. I have reached out to the owner of E-Rank to ask how he does it. Of course, he's not going to give me his trade secrets, but I've been, I've been testing it and it is 80% accurate. And he said that himself, that it's 80% accurate. So it could be plus or minus more sales. But we know that this product is selling. It says even here it's in 20 plus carts. So that's something I, I'm looking at and I'm going, okay, this is a, a product in high demand. And that's, that's nice because it's an evergreen product that could sell year round. It's just Bible stories, Bible activity. So it's really nice that it could sell year round. The estimated revenue is obviously based on sales. The conversion rate is really high. So that means they're using really good keywords. Their product design is good. So as a creator, I would be curious. I'd be like, okay, I'm just going to take note of the ingredients of this product that make it so nice. Obviously, price is incentivizing people to buy the number of cards. So that's nice. They have features like what are some additional features? They don't. Okay, so it looks like it's just one U.S. letter size page. So they don't even offer it. Oh, no, they do offer it in two sizes. Print one or two per page. So they're offering multiple sizes. So I'm just taking note of all the things that people are liking about it. And you can always go to the reviews, easy download, good quality. They like the quality, exactly what they're looking for. So I always look at the reviews, too, to know what people like about the product. So then this uh, little sidekick data that gives you the number of views, the number available you for digital products, you can put 999. So it looks like they've, they've either changed it or, um, they renewed it and just put it back at 999. So then the tags, you could see here, this is what E-Ranks data looks like for the tags. They have Bible stories, bingo, Bible bingo, Bible story bingo, Jesus bingo. And so it's interesting because the search volume on these average monthly searches um, is not the highest. So they're really going niche with this product. And that's that's fascinating. And they have the competition. They're using really good low competition keywords, which is great. So how does this compare to Everbee's um, tool? So I have Everbee's extension over here. And, I, and it even comes up on each listing. So I can click on analyze listing and I could see here they have search volume here. The stats are different and then the competition is about the same on the competition. I would say like if I look at religious game, 26,000 religious game here, 27,000. I like that that's similar principal Bible game. Where's that one? That's 4,700. So they're about similar as 5,700. I don't know why they're different. Like I said, they, they interpret the data differently. But it's it's interesting to see the estimated sales. So when they do estimated monthly sales, I, I think that they take the number of sales and divide it by the number of months. So we have 240 sales divided by 7 months. That's like 34. That's close to their estimated monthly sales. It might actually be like 7.9 months old of a listing. So that would make sense. But you see how for their estimated monthly sales, to me, that's not a good indicator of sales success for a product. It, for something that's been up for seven months, that's more relevant data. But if this product had been up for seven years, then the average monthly sales could make me think they're currently making monthly sales. But in reality, this product barely sells anymore and they sold it a lot five years ago. So I don't really, that, that number I'm not really focusing on. I'm looking at the total sales over the number of months. But they do show you the keywords too. They give you the, the um, shop details, which is awesome because they have 22,000 sales over 13 months. 323 listings. They have a lot of listings for being up for such a short period of time, but they're going for a high sales volume, low price point kind of um, sales strategy of their digital products, which for them is working out. Looks like it's working out great. 
So that's the difference between the two tools. The, the data is similar and Everbee is more expensive as a tool. Um, and you can get similar data for a cheaper price through E-Rank. So I really like that they have rolled out this browser extension tool. I think it's going to be super useful when you're when you're just on Etsy itself trying to get data analytics. So you don't have to go back to Etsy and put in the shop name and then analyze their, their tags that way. This is so useful. Saves you a lot of time when you're doing keyword research. Obviously, they don't show you the click-through rate and stuff like that, which is a stat that I really love. But if I was just comparing apples to apples with Everbee as a browser extension tool, I feel like Etsy is giving you a lot. I mean, E-Rank is giving you a lot of good data for the price. Okay, so if you want to find out how to use E-Rank in more detail or Insight Factory, I have other videos on my YouTube channel. And I hope that this video helps you to understand how this new um, little browser extension feature works and how it compares to other browser extensions like Everbee.